Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So we're going to be discussing today the don't do's for this game, um, especially for beginners who just entered to this game and had just played a couple of days ago. I myself was able to experience this, so let's start this list. Okay, the first um, part is going to be don't, you know, if, if you've seen this uh, currency, Fishbone. <laughs> A lot of us actually are hesitating to spend uh, diamonds on this. A lot. Even I experienced this. Because again, we are using diamonds to summon, to recruit. But this has big value to us because this one resets. Uh, it really doesn't reset that often. Not even on a daily basis. So what I usually do, I use this currency and your sacred tour as you can see i'm already at five so let's go back to four four dash six you only attain the rewards here if you do a sweep and these these um currencies or these resources are actually being used to level up um your figure skills the skills the skill sets of your of your figure so Again, how are you going to level them up if you're not going to, to use diamonds here? So don't hesitate. Spend your diamonds here because these are a worthwhile investment. Um, you don't get these rewards uh, on battle, only on sweeps, okay? The other one, if you haven't unlocked this, is going to be in your big three. I'm going to show you an example here. The big three rewards as well, if you have cleared it, you cannot clear it anymore. The only way that you can that, that you can farm for um, equipment is going to be a sweep. Again, this one you sh uh, uses uh, fish bones, so that is that is insane, guys. So you just have to make sure that you can sweep this, um, spend diamonds. Don't don't hesitate in spending them. So let's try only one, get some equipment here. So that's it. Okay, um, examples here is um, Sakura. So, number two tip is do not just level up or unlock any figure skill. So, just by random. Please read what are the benefits of each unlock. Like, for example, I just unlocked her. Um, her first... For, for, for her first attack, this one, the first one is... Once you unlock her skill... She grants healing to the figured summon, uh, figuring summon creature with the lowest heal for every basic attack. So again, um, there are certain skills that once you unlock, makes that certain figure good already uh, or very good. So this is one classic example. I did. I was not able to read this before I unlocked. So again, do not you know just randomly unlock any read if you really need that skill to be unlocked um another example is um for zarola uh skills so let's take a look at her skills okay so for this one uh, level two of her third skill which is her passive is this skill is actually um it's actually good when taking lethal damage self detonates and deals damage to all enemies before it's defeated but the sometimes zarola's uh, what they call this zarola's uh the only one left usually the last one unless if you let her die first and she deals damage and there are remaining here uh, there are remaining figures left this is going to be good but this is this is not bad actually it's it's kind of in the middle but again this is not a priority level up you could level up other you know other skills uh for other or for other figures that you have but again i needed to go past this and to go to this skill to boost her attack and life steal so again it's it's really a decision on which you want to prioritize which one which skill will help you most which figurine will benefit from it so again do not do this at random. Read and see the synergy between uh, between your your figures and how their skills would complement each other. Number three is do not um, overlook your branch. Oh, sorry, your your brand buffs. This one I was guilty of. So as you go into battle, 
if you don't realize, you can actually check your brand buffs. I was actually looking for this. I didn't realize that it's here. It's not even in... This is not even in the help for the game. The help portion for the game. It's not even there. It's here. So as you deploy your team, check out the buffs that you, you know, that you receive. Because this really is a big boost to your attack, to your health of the figures that you're going to be bringing. Next is going to be don't equip, do not auto equip gear. I was actually guilty, very, very guilty of this one. Um, here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at their gear parts. Parts is called gear <laughs> because uh, there are certain there are certain um, sets wherein you get set bonuses. Like for example, this one. That's the attack set. If you have two of them, it's a plus twenty. If you only have one, it's a plus ten. So if you have four, it's a plus forty. So again, these are very important. Um, also, this one, the so two of four. So that's a two. For this one, this is going to be your crit set. So you get. 10 get 10 here for the two again these are you, you do not really auto auto equip any equipment you have to manually check them what i did last night was actually remove all of the equipment then manually put them together and pair them up with the proper figures with the proper sets because again uh, the buffs of the additionals for the set um, set bonuses are actually insane. It's actually big. So plus 15 defense. And if you have multiple sets that give you, let's say this is defense. Then I have another set here for defense. Um, this is defense as well. That's actually a 30% defense. You just don't know. <laughs> okay. So next is going to be don't disregard your blind pieces blind box pieces so just to show you guys if you don't you know if you're not familiar with it the this is actually partic in, in particular the one that i am you know talking about the ultra blind box piece is actually where i got most of my ultra figures as of now so what I do is I really look for these in events, the shop, and even in content. If you reach 60, it's definitely an ultra. Um, the only catch is you don't know which ultra, but at least you're guaranteed an ultra. That's the point. Okay, so again, look out for this because this will really help you progress further in the game. And the next that don't that you don't do is... Don't use ultra rarity to promote. Okay, that's the first part. Unless it is required to promote one um, one one figure. Okay, I'll just show an example. So this one, uh, this girl, obviously you need a copy of her. Uh, same rarity as your current one. Uh, sorry, um, you only need one a one star. This, what, I, what I have right now is a two star ready. You need a one star, which is a pink one, um, to uh, to level her, not level her up, to increase her tier. So again, in this scenario, you will require, uh, you will, you will require, or the game will require you to bring, uh, to to sacrifice an ultra. But there are certain. Let's take this out. Okay, for this, uh, for this type of. Um, for this type of uh, level up or tier up, um, you can actually use a uh, lower rarity, which is actually the super. So for this one, so this this girl is actually a super rarity that you can use. So again, if it's a question mark on the boxes, you can basically use um, super here. But they should be again, they should comply with the specific level. So this is pink rank i don't know what 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 pink is with one star okay so don't develop too many of the same brand so even spread out your figures try to level up at least five of each brand so as you can see here 
one, two, three, four, five for this brand. One, two, three, four, five for this brand. And one, two, three, four, five, six for this brand. Because I'm actually over the 15 and five for each. It, you know why? Because you will need them in your... Not here. I still get confused on where to go sometimes. You will need them in the big three when you unlock the big three. The big three, I think, can be unlocked in 9-1. So you will need them here because these are faction or these are brand only content. You cannot play this uh, using other factions. So just want to show you guys uh, what I mean. So as you can see here, the only the only figures that show up here are with the same brand and again i've deployed the same brand if we go back to this so you have tenma you have let's red and you have galatea so again you have to clear these stages using the same figures of the same brand you cannot really farm these if you don't have enough figures so Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down and put your or put your questions below. Uh, I might be able to answer your questions. And also, for those who have stuck this far, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And this also uh, keeps you updated with the, the, the videos that I create for this game. Also, don't forget to put a bell icon if you consider subscribing and like this video. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.